sorry, <laughs> um, from the U about a year ago. So basically my job as a genetic counselor is to help support families who have inherited retinal, con or excuse me, inherited ocular conditions, um, support them through education, um, as well as just providing them with support resources and also helping families identify who else might be at risk for their particular condition, whether that's um, their children, siblings, um, things like that. One unique thing about genetic counseling here at the Moran is I do get to see um, kind of the lifespan of patients. So I um, have been working with pediatric patients as well as adult patients. So all of those different um, age groups have different um, things that need to come up in a counseling session, such as um, reproductive counseling for families who are maybe planning on having more children um, or for adults who already have children, what the risk might be to their children. So a genetic counseling session um, usually will contain a detailed family history um, and then through analysis of that family history, I'll um, educate the family on possible inheritance patterns and like I said, what those implications are for other family members. Um, and then if appropriate, I'll discuss genetic testing with the family um, and how this might work and how this might help um, offer them some diagnostic clarity or um, help identify other family members at risk. Um, so that's kind of my job overall. As far as how to get a hold of me, um, I generally am able to see patients when they're here in clinic. Um, you're welcome to either call my desk or I can be contacted through SmartWeb. And if I'm available, I'm happy to see them as long as the patient's comfortable staying for another half an hour to 45 minutes. If I'm not available, then I'm happy to um, get the referral by, by email and contact the patient and set up a time to follow up with them. So on this handout, I have some um, examples of appropriate referrals, but really anyone who has questions about um, a hereditary eye condition and how it might um, be important for them for, or for other family members. So, um, so I'll just pass these handouts around and then if you have any questions, feel free to email me or get in touch otherwise. So that's it.